In Japan in the 1960s, there is a girl named Saya who is the last remaining original. She is hunting down Chiropterans, a demonic beast that feeds on human blood, like vampires. She was informed that a nearby military base has Chiropteran sightings outside their base, and Saya, disguised as a high school student, investigates a nearby high school that was also involved in a Chiropteran murder. You can stay in the classroom and get ready for the party if you want. Hey, but are you, you Japanese? Be home by six or old Pumpkinhead will get you. Konnichiwa. Leave me alone. Weirdo. So this is a horror thriller anime created by Mamoru Oshii who is best well known as the director of the Ghost in the Shell movies part 1 and part 2. Directed by Hiroyuki Kutakubo who worked on animes like Robot Carnival and Golden Boy. Now there are two things that I didn't like about this anime. The first thing is that it's too short, it's less than an hour. And the second thing is that it lacked any character background. But what I love about this anime is that it can definitely scare you. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you trying to surprise me now? The animation of this anime was done by Katsuya Tarada. I admit that there is a certain ugliness to the character designs, but I am willing to overlook it. Since the color tones in this anime really give a scary tone. Not to mention the CG animation has a certain realism towards the film. The dubbing in this anime is both English and Japanese dub mixed together, which is a complete rarity which you don't see in many animes. I have to say the two voice actresses, Yoki Kudo and Saimi Nakamura, who played Saya and the nurse, do a good job in talking in both English and Japanese. Young lady? Yada, anata nihonjin? Koko no seito janai desho. The music was done by Yoshihiro Ike, who worked on animes like Karas and Ergo Proxy. The music has a creepy, eerie feeling towards it when it comes to the scary moments, but it was the classical music that really surprised me, because it was beautiful and haunting just to listen to it. In the end, Blood the Last Vampire is a horrific experience that will make you quite bloodthirsty. So, that's my review of Blood the Last Vampire. I give this anime a 4 out of 5. See ya!